Well, it's a one day trip that gives veterans the chance to reflect on their time in the military and be honored for their service. The Old Glory Honor Flight has embarked on Mission 52, taking local vets on tour of our nation's capital. Local 5's Calvin Lewis shows us how those veterans are gearing up for this year's mission. Our whole organization is, exists for the sole purpose of saying thank you to, to generations of, of, uh, of warriors that went to battle for this country. For one day, local veterans embark on the journey of a lifetime. The Old Glory Honor Flight has been honoring those who served with a one-day tour of Washington, D.C., a journey that brings with it memories and, for some, anticipation. Just seeing all the monuments and being with my brothers from the service and just taking the tour it's, it should be fun. Lee Erickson, an Army veteran, signed up for Mission 52 in honor of his late friend and fellow comrade Bob Sock. His memory lives on in a photo Erickson carries with him for the day's mission. We enlisted on a buddy plan. That's, we saw each other once in basic training and after that it was you go your way and I go my way and he ended up in Vietnam. Before Mission 52, many of the veterans had not seen the memorials in person. Even for those who have, the monuments haven't been seen before with so many of their fellow comrades. It breaks it to a whole new level when you're out there visiting these memorials and the people next to you went through that same experience and especially the Vietnam vets when they look at that wall, they're seeing a face. They're not just seeing a name like we do. They're seeing a face of, in the faces of a, a 18, 19, or 20 year old. It's it's a young a young man or a young woman that that's on that wall. So it's a it's an emotional experience. An experience that surely won't be forgotten. In Appleton, Calvin Lewis, Local 5 News. Thank you, Calvin. Mission 52 will be landing at Appleton International Airport tonight at about 8:15, and members of the public are invited to welcome home the veterans at that time.